Hi, so in this video, I'm going to show you types of MOSFETs. So as you know, there is many types of MOSFETs. So let's see first what is a MOSFET. So a metal oxide silicon felt effect transistor or MOSFET is commonly known as MOSFET. It is an electronic device that is used for voltage amplifying and switching operations. The MOSFET is a voltage controlled component with three terminals source, gate, and drain. As you can see in the schematic. So let's see now the types of MOSFET. First, let's see this note. The classification of MOSFET is based on the construction and the material used to develop and fabricate it. The MOSFETs are classified into two classes. So, enhancement mode class and depletion mode. So, as you can see in this block diagram, we have here the MOSFET, so divided into two classes, enhancement mode and depletion mode, and each class is available as N channel and P channel. So we gonna see in the next slides all about N channel MOSFETs and P channel MOSFETs, and we gonna see the difference between it. So, let's see first the depletion mode. The channel conductivity decreases when the voltage across the gate terminal is either positive or negative. But, when there is no voltage across the gate terminal, the channel will share maximum conductance. So, as you can see here in this circuit diagram, this is internal MOSFET. Okay, and here I have the picture and MOSFET. Basically, the MOSFET contains three terminals, as you can see, drain, gate, and source. So, for the internal MOSFET, as you can see, this arrow is toward the gate, from source to gate. But for p channel MOSFET, the arrow here is from gate to source. So, you can differentiate between internal MOSFET and p channel MOSFET using this arrow. But I'm going to show you in the next slides how to differentiate between entry MOSFET and pitcher MOSFET using the multimeter. Now let's see the enhancement mode. The MOSFET will not conduct when there is no voltage across the gate terminal, but when there is the maximum voltage across the gate terminal, the MOSFET will show enhanced conductivity. So, as you can see here, we have two MOSFET symbols. We have entry MOSFET and teacher MOSFET using the same working principle, always for entry MOSFET. We have, as you can see, the arrow is toward the gate, from source to gate. And for the pitcher MOSFET, from gate to source, with, as you can see, the symbol for the enhancement mode is different. As you can see here, in the gate, we have these cutted lines. Okay, so this is enhancement mode symbol. So now let's see the difference between PMP MOSFET and MPN MOSFET, or P channel MOSFET and N channel MOSFET. So, as you can see here, basically for N channel MOSFET, we have here, as you can see, a diode between drain and source. The same also for P channel MOSFET, we have a diode between drain and source. Okay, with the arrow, as you can see. So, we have seen that the arrow for the N channel MOSFET is toward the gate. And for the pitcher MOSFET to allow is toward the source. So using the multimeter, if you check between drain and source for internal MOSFET, you will get a reading when you put the red probe into source and the black probe into drain. 
But if you switch the prompts, you will not get anything. And for pain channel MOSFET, the inverse. You will get a reading when you put the red probe in the drain and the black probe in the source. Okay, so this is the difference. But because for the end channel MOSFET, the anode of the diode is connected to the source and the cathode is connected to the drain. But for pin channel MOSFET, the inverse, the anode of the diode is connected to the drain and the cathode is connected to the source. So this is all about the types of MOSFETs and the difference between p channel MOSFET and n channel MOSFET. I hope that you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to subscribe and to like the video.